Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, our next guest has all of his ducks in a row, and uh, <laughs> the writing is real good today, I'm telling you. Uh, and is here to show you how you can do that too. What do I mean? He'll explain. Give it up for Project Runway vet, children's author, bingo caller, and duck raiser, Christopher Straub. Good morning. This is this is is turning out to be the most country episode you've ever. This done. is fantastic. I, I just got to ask you for uh, <laughs> because especially new people in Chicago, they probably recognize you from Project Runway. Yeah. How did how did this happen? How did this happen? Because I mean, you know, when when I met you, you were a little cosmopolitan youngin, mm -hmm. city boy, mm -hmm. and now you're raising ducks. I live in you the country. You have whatever the hell this is. I live in, uh, you know the, live I mean? in the woods. You live with in my the ducks. woods. Uh, no, but seriously, I follow you on Instagram, and I, I started to notice years ago you were taking more pictures of ducks than people in your life. Than, than fashion, than, yeah. my, than my kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so, yeah, uh, definitely. But yeah, how did this happen? Well, it really was uh, that uh, picture it. Yeah. <laughs> 2016. Uh, I went with my husband. We, went, we decided that we were going to be chicken gays. Okay, we were gonna raise the chickens. I, I, I don't think the general public knows okay, what that right, is. Okay, all right, all we right. Were, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna raise chickens and harvest eggs. We have four acres in the country, so we just thought now is the time. <laughs> You're gonna be poultry gays. Poultry yeah, gays. Yeah, yeah. And so we went to buy chicken. Uh, we went to the farm supply place, as you do. As, you, as one does. As one does. And, um, and then I just saw the ducklings and I said, oh no. They're too cute. I can't leave without these ducklings. So with some quick research, we realize that it's uh, very similar. Uh, the amount of eggs that you will be receiving, the amount of care that you have to provide to them, it's a little bit different, but we ended up buying ducks. Was, while you were researching, was Ronnie uh, calling an attorney? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or was he dividing <laughs> assets? <laughs> Yeah, was no. There, okay, you no. get the house, I get the car. He was all in. He was all in? Yeah, because he's from Iowa and lives in the country yeah. and stuff. So this was more him. So Okay, who are we looking at here? So this is some of my ducks. Um, all of these photos are taken by award-winning nature photographer Christopher Straub. That's right. <laughs> all, okay, but let me compliment you. We've had some fun, but let me, let me compliment you, my friend. Your photography, it's really, it really is beautiful. Your Instagram account is quite lovely. It's, Look it's, at those yeah. babies. Yes. I can't get enough of a baby. Like, I love hatching eggs. And, and some of them, um, the, the mothers brood the eggs, which means they incubate them. It's not incubated inside. I'll, I'll go into yeah. that in a little bit later. How many chickens do you have now? So, okay, chicken. We do have chickens as well. So we have... Oh, um, ducks. I mean, so yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting all my birds mixed up. We have a, 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 a couple chickens. We we have a couple geese and several mini ducks. Mini ducks? Is that like mini watermelons? Or well, what you're are we only allowed to have a certain amount of poultry in our um, township. Oh, got it. <laughs> so I don't want to out myself. I, oh, you're hoping that no one at the township is watching. <laughs> Illegal ducks! <laughs> no. Like two or three. It's fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're, you're famous. It's fine. Okay. Now, we, we, should we take a break, Jeff? And come? Okay, when we come back, you mentioned, because uh, I want to know, the audience, we want to know what that what is. What is this? I want to know why this egg is so big. We got lots of questions, we and I'm answering those questions. When we return, back in a moment, everybody. <laughs> oh, God. Read of the teleprompter says. We're back with quack expert Christopher oh. Straub. <laughs> That's literally what the teleprompter says. Okay, let's get down to business. All right, I know. What I are know. we doing here? All right, so uh, so the big question that I get the most often is, do they lay eggs and can you eat them? And so that was the purpose of us getting uh, ducks to begin with for laying eggs. So I'm going to show you sort of a side by side comparison of some similar eggs. Okay. So, so right uh, right here, this is the, your standard egg that you're going to get at Cub Foods uh, yes, or Jewel exactly. Osco. Yeah. And then um, just a a little bit bigger is going to be the duck egg. Just by comparison, here is uh, one of our, our chicken eggs. Okay. But then I have to show you this monster. This is a goose Pterodactyl? egg. 
Yeah, what is that? Goose egg. So this is the equivalent of two to two and a half eggs if you're actually like cooking with it, which I do. You cook with that? Yes, but I want, I want you to do some. I'm gonna, you're going um, to show me your egg cracking skills, Mr. Biscuit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I... All right, so, so let's so do this one first. So this is going to be your standard egg from, uh, from the grocery store. OK, so kind of a, there you go, perfect. I mean, ladies Yo. and gentlemen. Yo. I do make biscuits too. Yeah, I mean, I, you know. You just put that up to the side. Okay. So um, I'm going to try to hold this up a little bit. So you can see the egg is a little more pale yellow yeah. uh, in that one. And you could tell, I mean, obviously you're familiar with the, the cracking, the yeah, shell. The crack, yeah. So now do this. So much stronger. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. It's like, you're, it's, it's almost painful. <laughs> oh. And so, so that. Uh, the yolk is it's very vibrant. Yes, it's much oranger, but also these are free range ducks that we have. So throughout the day, they wander around eating uh, plants, vegetation, bugs, anything, nutrient rich stuff. Okay. And then just for fun, <laughs> do, do the, the goose egg. <laughs> crack it? Crack it and empty it in there. Do you have a hammer? <laughs> I want. Oh, criminy uh -huh. nittles. Uh huh. No, you can keep going. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna cut your fingers if you don't keep. Ha oh, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh. So not only is the shell very hard, very hard, but yeah. also the the yolk is it's ginormous. Yeah, it's gigantic. And you were telling a producer in the break, yep. you can make two breakfast sandwiches. I did with just one last egg. weekend. Just last weekend, I, I made two breakfast sandwiches with just one. One uh, no, I'm not being goofy. Flavor profile, uh, is it a richer flavor? Richer flavor. A lot, you know, you can tell by the large yolk yeah. in, in both of them that it's, it's a lot richer. It's actually um, duck eggs and goose eggs are alkaline producing foods, so they have health benefits beyond just protein and all oh, that stuff nice. as well. And oh. chicken eggs are acidic. Now, what is this? All right, so uh, people want to know if you can hatch the eggs. And so I'm going to uh, show you one way of hatching it. One way is just leaving it uh, with the duck. She can sit on it for 28 days, or you can incubate with a, a little tabletop incubator here. And you basically put it in, keep it hydrated, and it rotates the eggs periodically through the day. And you can monitor the the production of the eggs. Go ahead and hand me one of those. It's eggs. like Jurassic Park. It is. You know, exactly. It's like that. Yeah. Hand me yeah. one of those eggs. Right Wait, there. One of these. Just any one. Any of them. Okay. And then uh, through a process called candling, you can actually light up the egg and monitor the growth of the embryo. And I have videos of this on my Instagram as well. So follow me if you want to know more about ducks. Follow me at Schmistifer on Instagram. Can I borrow this later? <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. Give it up for Christopher, everybody. Follow him on social media. And if it, what? We still have time? Oh, we don't have to say goodbye. You wrapped me before I needed to be Who wrapped. wrapped. I didn't wrap you. <laughs> Uh, do you have no uh, more shameless plug? Oh yes. Uh, tell folks about down oh, here, especially because yeah. this is your first time in Chicagoland. So hey, welcome right. to yeah. Chicagoland. Yeah. So I have um, I have kids as well, and they actually help design these uh, little duck pins because we raise ducks. They love ducks. They um, they definitely have a hand in taking care of them. So if you go to my website. ChristopherStraub.com, you can actually get uh, little duck pins that they've designed, and the money from those benefits their college savings account. So please <laughs> help me, help me pay this, for my kid's this, college. This, can I tell you, we got 20 seconds. Here's what I, well, I have a list of things I love about you, but other guests will come on here with their stuff, and they'll be like, we're donating it to the Two-Legged Dog Society. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You are just bla you are just like, uh, it is helping to send those two kids to yeah. college. That's right. Oh, look at this. Look at this what photo this? up here. This is a, a duck sitting on my legs watching um, 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're teaching your ducks early about good television. Uh -huh, they love it. Uh -huh. Follow it. Christopher on social media. Just search for Schmistifer. We'll be right back. Back in a moment.